Hello everyone and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly and today we're going to be talking about how to use VLOOKUP with a partial match. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is a formula heavy video. Uh, I encourage you to check out the Excel chat article which talks about each section of the formula, but we're just going to get into it right here. So our partial match is DAV. We're not looking for Davis, for example, uh, an exact match for the whole cell. Uh, for the whole cell, but rather we're just looking at partial matches. So the way we're going to set up this formula is first, obviously, with VLOOKUP. And now uh, I want to reference this cell here and make sure I anchor it in case I want to drag it down later. Now I'm going to use this ampersand to link the cell, and then I'm going to do quotation marks and asterisks in between these quotation marks. That basically means um, that anything that follows DAV is allowed, like so it doesn't have to be an exact match again. Uh, now it's asking for the table array, which I can just highlight here. Uh, now it's asking for which column we want to look at. And in this case, we're looking at last name. So that's going to be the first column, which is one. And then again, uh, for these formulas, there's going to be the true or false option at the end for exact or approximate match. And whenever you're doing partial match, fun fact, you're always going to be using false. So make sure you type that in at the end of the formula. I'm going to put close parentheses and hit enter. So as you can see, the last name Davis popped up. Uh, that was the last name that we expected. Uh, that is our partial match, and the full name is Davis. So now going to first name, we're going to do equals. Same formula again, pretty much, right? VLOOKUP, reference this cell here. Uh, now we can do the ampersand, quotation marks, asterisk, comma, again, highlight this whole table, comma. Now, since we're looking at first name, we're going to do column number two, and then hit false. So now it's popped up James, and that is correct because, again, uh, even though we are looking at partial match, we're wanting it to output what is the first name of our partial match for that row, so Davis uh, is the last name, D-A-V, and then James pops up as the first name. And then we'll do this again, just for example purposes. So again, we're going to go up, reference this cell, make sure you anchor it, the ampersand, oops, ampersand, quotation marks, asterisk, quotation marks, comma, highlight the whole table, comma, now we're looking at the third column, comma, false. So 38002, and that is right. That is James Davis, uh, Davis's student number. And this is, in short, how the VLOOKUP partial max, match works. Uh, make sure to check out the Excel chat article because it, it does a full walkthrough of the formula um, in, in a little bit more detail. Uh, but make sure you're always referencing, anchoring, uh, using the ampersand to link, and then the quotation marks asterisk to make sure that you're using partial match instead of exact match. And remember, for partial match formulas, you're always going to have false at the end uh, instead of true. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.